What up, what up, what up, Moon Pack? This is Finny Red Moon coming back at y'all with another video. Yeah, that's right, your alpha is back with another video. Before we get into this, please hit that subscribe button, that notification button, that like button. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think about this video we are having today. And y'all know why, because y'all know Finny Red Moon ain't playing with you guys. Y'all know the Moon Pack ain't playing with you guys. Hold up, wait a minute, we have a Fenrir Moon pack member here today on the Fenrir Moon channel. What up YouTube viewers and my fellow Moon pack members, this is Ninjetta here to help Fenrir Moon out and narrate some information for you. Yeah, today we are talking about on the Fenrir Moon channel, we are talking about sword and Captain Marvel, y'all see what I'm talking about right after this. Ooh. Yeah, we're back with some info. Y'all ready for this? All right, first we're going to start with Sword. The official name is Sentient World Observation and Response Department. A mouthful, but that's what they got an acronym for. Alright, the status is active, and the organization is known to the authorities, so it's not secret. The universe it's in is Earth 616. Base of operations is the Peak, which is in Earth's orbit, and Pandora's Box, which is a research station. The organization leader is Commander Abigail Brand. Current members are Abigail Brand, of course, Cecilia, Lockheed, Agent Pollitz, Sidron, and Keel Richt. Former members include Beast, Benjamin, Death's Hand, Agent Deems, Henry Gyrick, Manifold Tiger, Mindy, and Spider Woman. Its allies are X Men, U.S. Space Command, Shield, of course, and the Avengers. Its enemies are the Metroliths, Unit, Drex, Cyclopses, X-Men. The origin, it was formed to protect Earth from extraterrestrial threats. The creator is Josh Whedon. First appearance is Astonishing X-Men, Volume 3, Number 36, in December 2004. Alright, a little bit more information for you about its history. As you know already, it is a counterterrorism and intelligence agency which deals with extraterrestrial threats to world security. Sword is a subdivision of the better known Shield. Haha, <laughs> Shield and Sword. I never would have figured that out. Not. But appears to be a largely autonomous of its parent organization. Since the departure of Nick Fury as director of Shield, relations between the two organizations have become strained. The head of Sword is Special Agent Abigail Brand and its primary command and control HQ is aboard the orbital space station known as the Peak. Sword is known to have at least one undercover operative in the X Mansion, which is Shadow Cat's pet dragon Lockheed. Sword has not been seen since the restoration of the multiverse following the end of the incursion. It is very likely that Sword has been replaced by the Alpha Flight Space Program. Which would explain why Abigail Brand is a member of Alpha Flight. Yeah! Alright, that was information, or some information on S.W.O.R.D. Now, here we talking about Ms. Marvel! Yeah! Alright, if you haven't figured it out already, Ms. Marvel is part of the Marvel Universe. Her real name is Carol Danvers. She has also had the aliases of Ace, Binary, Lady Marvel, Warbird, and some other ones she used during her espionage career. And her identity is a secret, but not so secret since it's on the internet. Her citizenship is the United States of America with no criminal record, and she was born in Boston, Massachusetts. Her first appearance is in Marvel Super Heroes No. 13 in 1967, and her origin is Marvel Super Heroes No. 18, Miss Marvel number 1, 2006. Her occupations include Adventurer, Chief of Tactical Operations for the Department of Homeland Security. She's formerly an intelligence agent, NASA Security Chief, 
magazine editor, and freelance writer. Some of her known relatives are Joseph Daniers Sr., which is her father, Marie Danvers, which is her mother, Joseph Danvers Jr., which is her brother, and Steve Danvers, which is her other brother, who is also deceased. Her group affiliations are the Avengers, formerly in Queen's Vengeance and Starjammers. She has a BA in extensive espionage training. Uh, some of her physical attributes are she's 5'11", 124 pounds, with blue eyes and blonde hair. Miss Marvel's current powers include flight, enhanced strength, durability, and the ability to shoot concussive energy bursts from her hands. She's also a skilled pilot and in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and she does not use any weapons. So, a little bit more information before I leave. When Carol was captured by the KGB and imprisoned at the Lubyanka prison, Logan was among those who defied orders to save her. Following her affiliation with the CIA, Carol took a position with NASA as the security director for Cape Canaveral. It was in this capacity that Carol first met Captain Marvel, the Kree warrior Marvell. In her official capacity, Carol was challenged with the unraveling the mystery of this alien soldier. During her investigation, the two forged a unique bond, which first as friends and then as lovers. It was this relationship that would change Carol forever. Yeah, that's some information we're going to give y'all today. We'll have more information in future videos. Yeah, so basically this right here, Captain Marvel is coming to Avengers 4. Everyone know that, that, or that already have seen Infinity War. Um, and also, if this going to be the case, so there's a possibility that Sword, they're going to introduce Sword in Avengers 4. If that's the case, they're going to be so awesome because they're going to bring S.H.I.E.L.D. into the MC Universe. Then they're going to bring Sword possibly in Avengers 4 and all. Hell going to break loose. Yeah, that's right. We're out. Back on the Great Hunt. I'm out. Fenrir Moon is out. Ninjetta is out. Yeah!